All right, we made sure you got your first two images. But there is so much more to discover. So, let's walk you through the entire user interface starting with the toolbars. On the left side of your screen, you'll find a few links that come in handy while working with Artspace AI. By default this sidebar is collapsed, but you can open it by clicking on the two blue arrows at the top of it. Once opened, you'll see text labels right next to these icons. The first link takes you back to our homepage. The second link opens our public gallery. This gallery displays the publicly shared work from other members and is updated on a daily basis. Don't worry, nothing is shared automatically. Our members actively chose to share these images. Our searchable gallery is a great place to find inspiration. So if you're looking for a specific theme or style, feel free to explore our gallery and draw inspiration from other members' creations. The third link opens our Facebook community. It's a great place to connect with other members, share your work or simply ask questions if you ever get stuck. The fourth link directs you to a Google form. This form is for you to submit any ideas or feature requests that you might have. We continuously check your submissions and take them into account when laying out new updates and features. The fifth link takes you to our official YouTube channel. Here, we regularly upload videos to help you navigate Artspace AI and maximize its potential. Let's move over to the top toolbar, starting with the undo button. This button undoes our last action. So if we press it right now, it will remove the second image that we have just created. Similarly, the redo button brings it back. Clicking on the history button will open your personal history. Your history shows all your previously generated images along with the specific settings used to create them. You'll also find an option to delete an image from your history. See, not every image will be an immediate masterpiece and this helps to keep your history clean and organized. Think of your history as your personalized treasure trove of great prompts you can always revert back to. The history only stores a thumbnail of your image, but you can always regenerate the full image by using the exact same prompts and settings. To make this process easy, we've introduced the recover button. It will recover the prompts and settings for a specific image. Once recovered, just click the magic button to bring your image back to the canvas. Next up, we have a feature called formulas. At first, this might seem a bit overwhelming, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually quite easy to use. The purpose of formulas is to help you transform your creative thoughts into powerful prompts. Let's clear the current setup first and start all over. At the very top, in the subject text field, you tell formulas what you would like to draw. For example, chocolate ice cream and a waffle cone. Next, you may select a style, say, photorealism. Notice how your prompt preview updates while you are selecting these visual descriptors? You can go on and select artists, formats, boosters, vibes, and perspectives. You can even select multiple options for each category. But everything is optional and you are already good to go to create your next image. Click apply to transfer your prompt into the prompt box. Now, just click the magic button to turn your prompt into an image. By the way, you can also draw inspiration from formulas by clicking the Inspire button. Just note, Inspire can sometimes result in unusual and imaginative combinations that may exceed your expectations. Go and have fun with this feature. Next, the eraser lets you erase and redraw specific areas of your image. Simply click on the eraser to activate it. You can now set the size of the eraser, and start erasing portions of your image by pressing and holding the left mouse button. If you've erased too much, you can easily undo this by using the Undo button which you're already familiar with. For example, let's say you'd like to remove the cup of coffee and its shadow. We start by erasing the area. Next, move the art box over that area. Artspace AI combines your prompt with the surrounding pixels inside the art box when redrawing. Shrinking the art box limits the pixels that Artspace AI looks at. In the prompt box describe what you'd like Artspace AI to draw and finally click the magic button. It's that simple. Please note that Artspace AI can only redraw whatever makes sense when combining the surrounding pixel context and with your prompt. Pro tip, to activate the eraser, simply press and hold the control key, or the command key for Apple users. It will stay active as long as you keep the key pressed. To adjust the size of the eraser quickly, press and hold the right mouse button, then move your mouse left or right while the eraser tool is active. The clear button offers you the functionality to erase either a single image or all images, essentially the entire canvas. Upon clicking, you will be presented with two choices. 
1. Clear selected image. 2. Clear the entire canvas. The clear selected image option will be unavailable and grayed out if no image has been selected. An image's selection can be identified by the blue border surrounding it. For quick access to this clear menu, simply press the Dell key on your keyboard. Up next, we have the gallery button. This feature allows you to upload your own images to our Public Art Space AI Gallery. As a reminder, the Public Gallery is a great place to display your work, find inspiration and learn from fellow members. It's community-driven and updated daily. If you appreciate the contributions of other members, we, as a community, are equally excited to see your images. Do not hesitate to upload as many images you wish to share. All you have to do is select an image and click the Gallery button. A confirmation notification will appear, which you'll need to confirm. Of course, if you change your mind, you can easily cancel the process by clicking on the close button. Following up, we present the upload button. This feature allows you to upload your personal images from your desktop or mobile device onto the canvas for editing. For instance, you can use the eraser to redraw specific areas of an image as shown earlier in this video. You can also extend an image beyond its original borders, a feature that we will further explore later in this video. The download button lets you download your work to your own devices. Upon clicking, you are presented with three options. 1. Download selected image. 2. Download all images as a collage. 3. Download all images individually. Similarly to the clear menu that we introduced earlier, the download selected image option will be unavailable and grayed out if no image has been selected. As a reminder, an image's selection can be identified by the blue border surrounding it. So, if an image has been selected, the download selected image option lets you download it as a PNG file. The second option, download all images as a collage, generates a single large image composed of all the images on your canvas. Essentially a collage. It then downloads this collage as a single PNG file. Lastly, with download all images individually, all images are packed together in a zip archive. Think of a zip archive as a digital folder that bundles multiple files together into one file. Once downloaded, you can unzip the archive and regain access to the original images. Let's move over to the right side of the top toolbar. The percentage reflects your current zoom level. Essentially how much you are zoomed in or out on the canvas. Right next to it, we have the zoom out and zoom in buttons. As you might have guessed, these buttons let you zoom in or out of the canvas. If you're working with a mouse, you can also use the mouse wheel to zoom. On touchpads and mobile devices you can also use the common zoom gestures. The third zoom button is the one we introduced earlier already, zoom to fit. A click on it and it will adjust all your images, including the art box, to fit the visible area of your screen. Pretty convenient. Lastly, we have the move tool. Click on it to activate it. You can then drag the canvas in any direction using your left mouse button. This makes the canvas truly infinitive. For quicker access, you can also press and hold the mouse wheel, while on the canvas and then simply move your mouse in the desired direction.